So this is that fully sick one with all the sticky kits. So if you've been watching Mad TV, um, you will have seen that one. All these uh, fully tricked up ones with all the suspension. And so this is a Yamaha ride day. this we might uh, take this one for a ride hey <laughs> I don't think you mind really there's no number plate on it I don't think anyone's watching this thing for a ride. Hey, good day, big bikers. Good morning. I'm just looking at the weather. Um, oh, you can't see it now because behind those hills there. But oh, hey, I got my cami motor gloves on again. <laughs> Dude, seriously, yes, as we look off into the sunset or sunrise, yeah, it's behind us now, there's a bit of weather rolling in, but uh, I'm not going too far today, I'm just going to hang around um, Cessnock, have a bit of a look around, it's a weekend, so I'm not going to go up into the, into the bush, because every man in his four-wheel drive is going to be up there and uh, probably a lot of motorbikes as well, which is okay, but uh, I prefer my uh, my riding in isolation. Um, you know, well, not all the time, but I do really like riding with other guys. And I was trying to hook up for a ride with a couple of guys this week, but, uh, you know, let's blame the coronavirus. So there's a motorbike shop in town called Chris Watson motor Motorbikes, Chris Watson Motorcycles, and he does a little bit of everything. He's got... Um, Honda, he's got Yamaha, he's got uh, Suzuki, as these country dealers kind of need to do, they just need to cover it all off, you know, so um, we're going to go down and see if they've got the new 2020 Africa Twin there, um, I did see on social media there's a big uh, Tenere ride from um, uh, from here up to Nundal today, uh, so I won't, I won't spoil their party, but um, Go and see if I can see them all go off. Be interesting to see a group of the T7s walking away. Might even chat to a couple of guys about why they bought them. Anyway, this bike shop's just here. I'll... Hmm, Huskies. Oh, here's a big Yamaha day. Uh, Mrs. Jones actually will put her nose in so she can't see what's going on. No, no, mate, I, 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 I love crashing parties. <laughs> I was going to come along a rooster film today, you know. <laughs> Just having a little chat to the. Tenere here, so I'm at um, Chris Watson's. I was just chatting to Chris, and he said um, they sold 20 of these Tenere's. Here's this uh, Mad TV one. Dave Darcy, where are you, man? So this is that fully sick one with all the sticky kits. So if you've been watching Mad TV, um, you will have seen that one. All these uh, fully tricked up ones with all the suspension. And so this is a Yamaha ride day. What's this? We might uh, take this one for a ride, hey? I think you mind, really? 
there's no number plate on it. I don't think anyone's watching. Take this thing for a ride. No one's following me? That's great. <laughs> Look what I've got. This is a Husqvarna 701. Just sitting in the driveway. You guys got to be a bit more careful. Now the indicators work. Now, now it's not a KDM. Skills on the right. It's not a KDM. It is not, it's not orange. Shut up, it's not a KDM. There's no mirrors on it. Why are there any mirrors on it? No, I didn't take the bike, obviously. I wanted to have a bit of a, a ride on the 701. So let some temperature get into it. So no, I didn't steal the bike. <laughs> I did actually pre-arrange with Chris. This is a 2019 model. Let's just have a look at it. So this is the 2019 model of the Husqvarna 701. And uh, it's actually, um, you know, yeah, everyone says it's the KDM, but it doesn't say KDM on it anywhere. <laughs> It's um, it's got uh, no electronics on it. Uh, it's got ABS, obviously, for legal reasons, uh, because of the um, the you know government compliance. Um, this particular model, there we go. This particular model has the uh, um, he's got the the uh, pivot pegs on there. It's got the acro pipe, look at that smoke and beautiful um, and obviously the suspension and everything's all that uh, high end stuff so oh, I do like that smoke coming out of the, out of the muffler <laughs> I'm a weirdo, I get it so road legal so this is the bike the reason I wanted to take this for a ride, this is the bike that Honda should have made, so 700cc fuel injected electric start just, you know, this should have been their XR 650, XR 700, whatever. So, anyway, let's take it for a ride. And um, he's very generously allowed me to take it on the dirt. I don't think he's seen me riding. <laughs> it's a great big side stand. Neutral only. Oh, key, right. Woohoo! Third gear! <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> Thirty kilometres an hour, just nothing. Absolutely nothing. You know, now that suspension, although it's a pretty smooth road, but that's pretty flush. That's that's kind of like my XR plush, you know? A lot of travel. That's just amazing. So obviously um, everything's brand new, but one of the, and I, oh, I'm a little reluctant. You know, one of the reasons I'm looking at this because after the 2018 model of the, both the 690 and the 701, um, all the pre-2018 
uh, models had problems with you know rocker arms and just a few different issues that they had so this is a 2019 model apparently all the issues have been resolved so there's a, there's a much higher level of reliability now keep in mind that um, my riding style these days is is putting the bike in the back of the van and the long distance stuff I'm, I'm not really doing anymore you know I don't need a bike that I can cover thousands of kilometers in a couple of weeks because it's just you know if I'm going to be doing those sort of kilometers I'll drive the bike in the van get into some tighter stuff just to see how it goes but I've got to tell you um, Chris Watson I, you know I know a lot of guys oh that locks, steering locks not awesome tracks at all yeah all right I get the picture you get the picture it's quick Economics are all wrong for me. The front end's just. turned the ABS off yet. So here's my thinking. We we know I don't have the weight capacity in the in the back of the car for two bikes. Um, that's why I had to leave the 450 behind. But we wouldn't be having this discussion otherwise. It has become abundantly clear to me that a lot of things I want to do on the Africa Twin, she may be just a little bit too big in some places, particularly as I get closer to the high country. There's just things there I'm not going to want to do on a big bike. This bike is uh, 70 horsepower, 150 kg. I don't even need to do anything to it. I don't need to put long range tanks or anything on it because I'm, you know, my riding these days is not long range extended adventure riding out into the desert. Uh, you know, like, and if I need to improve the range on this, well, it's about 250 k's range on this. If I need to improve the range, just put a bladder on the back. Um, yeah, I, look, I really, uh, you know, that, that's where my thinking is. I'm not 100 percent committed to anything yet the um the the whole point is having a bike that uh, you know if i want to ride up the side of hill i can now that doesn't mean i'm going to sell the africa twin um i've got a couple of places i can just put the africa twin for you know a year or so uh, and then but yeah this this you know, particularly after I dropped the Africa Twin yesterday just because there was no side sand I had it, you know I, I it was jammed up against my leg and I thought I'm going to give myself a hernia if I try and stop this one from going over or break a leg and I just, you know it was just an off camber bit of road it's really, really simple it's got two trip meters 
uh, that's it. Uh, it's got an ABS button here, which you've got to be stationary to turn off, but it just turns off. Uh, it's got indicators and everything. It's all legal. Um, and you know, it's got the acro pipe and the and the uh, pivot pegs. Uh, and this is a 2019 model. Uh, they're selling them uh, pretty. Well, I would say cheap, but you know, very reasonable. It's the sort of it's the amount I'm comfortable paying for a dirt bike. Looks down to make sure I'm doing under 120 kilometres an hour. <laughs> the other thing I like about this too is the uh, the air boxes up under the seat. Um, nice and easy to do services on. Uh, you know, it's not going to get a lot of it's not going to get a lot of highway use. It's not going to be banging out a lot of kilometres in this because it just isn't that kind of um, riding I'm doing anymore. But uh, anyway, that, that's where my thinking is, and I thought, okay, I went down to have a look at the Tenere. That's fast enough. <laughs> I don't think I'm even scratching the side of it. So the new 2020 Huskies have just been, they've, they've gone down the KDM path and just jammed so many uh, electronics into it. And, um, I, you know, I'm not anti-electronics, don't get me wrong. I just think that, you know, if you're going to be taking a bike that is you know you're going to go into remote areas on a motorbike you want to you want to reduce the risk of having to walk home not having electronics does that so i think if you can reduce that risk Gear wheelies. <laughs> That's happy, happy me. <laughs> This thing's angry. <laughs> I love it. That was on the dirt. I'm not even going to try it on the bitumen. This is an angry motorbike. So that's... Look, obviously because there's no protection on it, it's, it's not a touring bike. You know, I actually don't think there's a problem with sitting out in the open like you're on a motorbike. This thing's got twin counterbalances in it, so it's actually really quite smooth for a, you know, a big thumper. kilometers an hour you could easily sit on that all day you know you might have to stand up occasionally but the, the problem I'm just looking now the cables on this is all so short there's actually no room there to extend that uh, put a trip put a bar riser on that to make it a little bit higher without changing all those cables so that might be a bit of an issue that's only an issue when standing up which is pretty much what you do all the time on a dirt bike but not uncomfortable there comes the rain. If you can see it over on the on the hill there, of course it's going to rain because you know I'm here. <laughs> well, big bikers, don't shoot me, okay? I am allowed. I am allowed to ride other motorbikes. It doesn't always have to be Africa Twins. 
but that's nice. Yeah, I think probably if I got this, what I'd do is I'd actually take all the plastics off and I'd paint them red. <laughs> some XR 650 stickers on it or put some XR 700 stickers on it send it to Honda and go do this, make this one here we are didn't drop the bike Let me just get in there, thanks. Didn't come with it, no. Look at this. Do you know who owns this one? If we could move it backwards a bit for me, thanks mate, I'm just trying to get out. Tenere Tragic. Meet up. <laughs> bloody keys. Every time. There's rain coming in. I am out of here. Yeah, it won't be going up into the hills today. I think it'll be a day in the caravan. I'll be making videos. Got a few to catch up on. It'll be a wet day in the caravan too, I think. I, I might just make it back without getting wet. I can see the rain at the end of the street there. <laughs> did go for that nice ride yesterday and it didn't rain. Anyway, thanks big bikers. This should be an interesting next couple of weeks. I will talk to you later.